Hi, I'm Colin, the community manager here at Sucker Punch Productions. In the most recent update for Infamous 2, we added a new feature allowing you to create your own comic book style 2D cutscenes. This is a great way to tell your own story within your mission. In this tutorial, I'll explain the basics of how to set up and modify a 2D cutscene. First, you'll need to place a cutscene shot node, which is located in the core logic pack. Once you've placed a node, you'll need to trigger the cutscene to start. This could be on a mission start, when you perform an action, or enter a volume. Now that we've placed a volume, we need to connect it to the cutscene shot node. With the logic for the cutscene to start, you can now begin building the scene. First we will place the camera to define our shot. To do so, bring up the edit wheel for the cutscene shot node and select edit camera. You can move the camera around as well as zoom and roll. To add a character or an object, select Edit Actor and Props. Once in this view, it will only show objects that are visible to the cutscene. Objects that glow red are currently not visible by the camera. With Cole now placed in the shot, you can apply a pose to him. Use Pose for Shot to give you access to a number of poses for each character and expressions to pick from. To help tell your story, you can add speech bubbles and captions via the cutscene shot node and selecting Edit. You can control the drawing styles of the captions to best fit your story. Ellipse, Rounded Rectangle, Thawn, and Caption. You can change the visuals of your shot by editing the Look option. Press the Triangle button to preview. Dry gives you the same look as the game. Classic 1 gives you a comic book style filter. Classic 2 gives you a variation of the comic book style filter. Edgy makes all edges stronger. Tinted provides a separate tone style. Now that you've set up your first shot, you should test it out. Just go to the mission start node and select play mission. You can add multiple shots simply by adding a new cutscene shot node and connecting it to the first shot. Here's an example from Infamous Festival of Blood. Thanks for watching this tutorial on creating your own 2D cutscene. Join our community at SuckerPunch.com for the latest news and support on Infamous 2 and UGC. PlayStation.